Hello everyone, my name is Tehrim Hassan and this is short lesson. We are going to learn one of the most important uh, concept in economics that is the law of demand. This is something you can see happening, uh, you know, in our daily day, in every single day, in shops, in markets, in, you know, and even in online as well. So I'll explain what it means, why it happens, and give you some examples. It's easy to remember. So let's start with the definition. First, here you go. So it says that when the price of a good increases, let's take my notation. So it's going to be better for you to understand. Yeah, this one. When the price of a good increases, the quantity demanded decreases. And when the price increases, the quantity demanded increases all other factors remaining the same. What it means, it's basically, in simple words, we say, when the price of a product goes up, the quantity people want to buy goes down. It's simple, that's it. This is the definition. Like, uh, when the price of a product goes down and the quantity people want to buy goes up. This is basically the inverse relation between price and demand move in opposite directions. And it's, you can say this one, all other factors remaining the same. What it means, uh, this is true. If all other things stay the same, for example, what it means like people's income, taste or quality of the product. If uh, we say like this, it's simple. Like when the price of a product increases, the quantity demanded decreases. And when the price of a product decreases, the quantity demanded increases. This is basically the whole concept of the definition. Okay, so let's take uh, the real life examples. What it means? The real life, in real life examples, in real life examples, first erase this. One prices and quantity. Okay, if mango prices doubles, people, fewer people buy will buy them. What it means? Look at the example. In summer, if the price of mangoes becomes higher, very high, many people, you know, will I buy their few mangoes or stop by them? That's demand going down because price went up. Look at the second example. A 50% sale in the clothing stores attracts more customers. Like um, if a clothing store announces a 50% discount, you'll see a big crowd. That's because the lower prices attract people, more buyers. So demand increases. If we take another example, let's look at the online shopping. During the big sales, like for example, um, you know, Black Friday, people buy a lot of more than usual because prices drop. These examples prove that the law of demand is everywhere around us. Okay, now let's look at the figure or the graph of this. Here is the next slide. So demand curve, as you can see on the uh, y-axis, here you go, the y-axis, where you can see the prices, that is basically the vertical axis, we always have the prices, and in the horizontal axis, we have the quantity, that is the x-axis. Always remember one thing, that demand curve is always downward sloping, negative sloping, downward sloping, negative sloping. What does it mean? It means when the, you know, uh, prices uh, increases, the quantity demanded decreases. For the prices decreases, the quantity demanded increases. This is basically the whole concept. For example, if I choose the price, for example, if I choose the price seven and quantity here, 2.5. For example, if prices increases, if price increases from seven to eight, look at this, look at this, the quantity decreases. First, we have quantity 2.5, but when the price increases from 7 to 8, the quantity decreases from 2.5 to 2.0. This is basically economics use this curve to study and predict how people will react to price changes in the market. Okay, so let's look at the takeaway, the key takeaway. The t key takeaway say that, okay, 
the law of demand tells us the demand move in opposite directions. Higher prices means lower demand. Lower prices means higher demands. We will see this every day because we are buying, buying fruits, clothes, electronics, or even services as well. That's one of the building block of economics, and that's how people understand how markets work. Thank you for listening. I hope this lesson makes you the law of demand simple and clear for you. Thank you so much.